Hi there my little reading buddies how are you today this is your own gomati aunty i hope you guys are doing all good and happy and hail in uh, with good health today is going to be another one of those animal stories and guess what today is about giraffe and the giraffe in this book um wants to dance in a party but he can't dance and in the end he ends up dancing because of the encouragement one of his friends gave him and the friend was a very unexpected friend so stay uh, along to find out who that friend is and how uh, you know he ended up dancing without further ado let's jump on to read the book today shall we Giraffes can't dance written by Giles Andre and illustrated by Guy Parkeries this is the book that we are going to read today Giraffes can't dance Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor jerol felt so bad because when it came to dancing he was really very bad the warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled the lions danced the tango which was elegant and bold the chimps all did a cha 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 with a very latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid scottish reel gerald swallowed bravely like that as he walked towards the floor but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar <sighs> hey look at clumsy gerald the animals laughed Giraffes can't dance you silly fool oh gerald don't be daft gerald simply froze he was rooted to the spot they are right he thought i am useless oh i feel like such a clot poor thing right so he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home he had never felt so sad before so sad and so alone then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky the moon can be so beautiful he whispered with a sigh excuse me <laughs> coughed a cricket who had seen jural earlier on but sometimes when you're different you just need a different song listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees to me the sweetest music is those branches and the breeze so imagine that that lovely moon is playing jazz for you everything makes music if you really want it to with that the cricket smiled and picked up his violin then gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing his hooves started shuffling making circles on the ground his neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing around 
he threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was wide open. I'm dancing! Yeah, I'm dancing! I am dancing! Gerald cried. Then, one by one, each animal who had been there at the dance arrived while Gerard boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, It's a miracle! We must be in a dream! Gerald is the best dancer that we have ever, ever seen! How is it you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how! But Gerald simply twizzled around and finished with a bow, like that. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find the music that we love. End of story. See? When you, um, you know, love to do something and when you have faith uh, in, you know, your capability of doing it, you can do anything. It's as easy as a cakewalk. That's right. So, if you want to do something and, um, you know, people around you say, oh, you can't do it, you can't jump, you can't run, do not believe them. Listen to your heart. And do what your heart says. Because inside of us, we all have the energy and potential to achieve anything. Do you know that? That's right. Well, now with Chiku and Piku, auntie is going to draw this um, a giraffe. Alright, let's get into the activity time. Hi guys, welcome to the activity time. Let's get started. We need a paper and a pen. We're going to draw Gerald's giraffe. And um, you know, today we're going to draw him as a very sad giraffe. Okay, so starting off with his head. And do that. You see, he has a little horn kind of thing. That's what this is. Okay. And onto his ears here. This is the other ear. Ensure that they are uh, close to each other as much as possible. And right where this thing is, like leaves in space. And start off like that. In this space here, you just put a straight line. That's his body. Right? And his face here starts a little bit from here and like so. Okay. And you may have to do a little curvy thing like this for his mouth to close. Okay. And that's his nose. And he's frozen. Remember in the story he was, uh, you know, uh, stuck, he didn't know what to do, he was frozen and that's this eye, he's like dizzy and he doesn't know what to do, okay, he's so sad, those are the eyebrows and there you go, he's, this is the outline, he's as you can see, visibly he's very sad, that's the other side, little hair follicles here and there, Let's get on to doing some finishing touch. That's the finishing of his horn. You know, like that. And ear opening. Okay, this is the ear opening. And to the other side. And patches here and there. Okay, a small patch here, a small patch there. Small patch here. Okay. 
and patches all over his body. You see, that is a very sad giraffe and he is pretty sad. So this is your giraffes can't dance. I hope you guys like this and drawing. See you all in another episode of drawing. Alright, bye. I hope you guys like today's content and uh, the story of uh, Gerald. It's very, very interesting, right? And so energetic. Gives you a lot of energy listening to the story. Well, from today's episode, Auntie is going to start looking at the comment section to see your favorite, uh, you know, book. Please leave in the comment the book that you want auntie to read in this channel and I would definitely love to pick up those stories and read for you. Will you ask your parents to uh, you know drop a comment on uh, you know the book that you want uh, auntie to read? Alright, I look forward to your uh, you know comments and book recommendations. Well, I hope you like today's content. If so, please like, share and subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to click on the bell icon down below. So, you get the notification every time auntie uploads a new video. And um, if you like auntie's, um, you know, stories, come on, go and tell your friends. And we could do, um, you know, friends party where auntie could read, um, you know, stories with you and your best buddy. Okay. Until next time, you take care and be good. Come back to the little story station for another exciting episode. Until next time, take care and I love you guys. Bye.